What is up guys, Mr. Bagels here, and welcome back to Valley. So I'm gonna be I'm gonna be square with you guys. Uh <gasps> I got stuck between a fence and a something. Uh <laughs> and I had to restart. And this game could really benefit from a good checkpoint system because I had to start back from the very beginning of this whole level. So everything that we did in like the past video or so, I had to redo all of it. Goes a lot faster when it's your first, when it's not your first time doing it. Um, but yeah, so we got, and it sucked because I was like, well maybe I could salvage the video. No, I was like halfway through. So, and I, I kind of got a little ticked because I, I was running short on time. I was <laughs> recording before going to work. So, <laughs> I've seen a little bit of this, but we're just going to kind of run through a little bit. But I just wanted to let you guys know that if you were going to play this game, be very careful uh, where you swing yourself to because... Uh, oh, it wasn't this way. That's right. No, it is. No. Was it? No. Yes. Maybe. No. It's not. Um, be careful where you swing yourself to because you can get yourself stuck and then you have to restart the entire <laughs> the entire level and boy does that just feel great and by great I mean it sucks <laughs> I got, got a little mad threw up like a couple messages on Twitter and uh, just just vented some frustration because uh, I was like really hoping to get I just was trying to get some stuff done you know I was getting, trying to get some recording done, and, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's super, that put a halt to it, because, uh, to re-clear the whole area would have taken more time than I really had left, so it was kind of like, mm, nope, you're done. Oh, hey, I missed this box. That's nice. Um, but it's not a big deal now. Now it's, uh, you know, it's done, is done. Move on. And, uh, let's, let's do this. Let's figure out what we got to do. I know that we got to go up on this roof. So we're going to be retracing. Well, I'll be retracing my steps, I guess. Oh, I was so mad. I was so mad when it happened. I was like, man, I spent all this time to get to the freaking warehouse. Oh, my goodness. Oh, hey. Get some momentum. Jeez, there's like no, there's like barely any grass up here. What are you making grass noises for, huh? Huh? What are you doing, fool? All right. It's all right, though. It was like... I didn't get very far because I was very confused on what I needed to do. So you guys didn't miss much. I'll say that much. All right, so we let's get over here. Amrita, storage. What? That's where I get stuck right there. So uh, I swung up over on the other side, over this fence, and right there, and I got stuck right here. And when that happens, uh, you can't move. You're done. There's no way to get out of there. At least no way that I could find. So I was kind of done though. Yeah, but ever. Got him. Also, I found out that if you jump into these guys, you'll get like a whole bubble. So that's cool. I like that. Alright. Now, let's be a little more careful with this. Actually, I'm really curious about something. If I pull myself up like this. Oh yeah, we're gonna smash. We're going to get this easy. Bam. Look at that. Oh, what did I do? Uh-oh. No. No. Oh, my God. Don't tell me that's how close I was to the next level. Don't. gotta be kidding me oh you suck so much game I got stuck right at the end of the level oh my I'm so mad right now oh my god oh we better get moving we better get moving because I'm I'm like ooh, I'm I'm as salty as it gets at this moment right now I cannot believe that I got stuck at the last oh no trees or orbs nearby Take energy from storage cells. I don't want to do that. Blam. Alright. Oh my god. That makes...
makes me so mad. <laughs> I can't believe I freaking died at the last, last bit of the level. <sighs> Alright, come on. Let's let it go. Let it go. What's over there? Look at that. Can I hit that from here? No, this acts as a wall, so I can't hit it. Alright. Alright, Amrita swarms. What's this about? Bzzz. Note from a god. I I give anything to be a pathfinder, but there's no way I'd ever be <laughs> ever be eligible unless I suddenly lost 60 pounds. That'll never happen. Too bad. I bet you I could pick up a lot of girls in those things, but I can't stop eating sandwiches. What is this? Andrew Fisher audio logs. Hey, look at that. What's that back there? September 17th, 1942. My name is Andrew Fisher, leading physicist and head of Project Pendulum. Pendulum is a research and development project directed by the Army Corps of Engineers to produce a weapon of mass destruction that can bring an end to the war through the unconditional Super surrender weapons. of our enemies. In response to the spy-ridden efforts of the Manhattan Project, headed by my cohort, Robert Oppenheimer, Pendulum has been founded under the utmost secrecy. Oh. Pride and soldiers' lives are all on the line in a race to win the war. Snap. That's giving rise to the name Pendulum. Oh, interesting. All right. Note from a researcher. Within the Soma factory, we are surrounded by the Amrita fuel, fuel slugs extracted from the valley. As such, we tend to be isolated from the effects of the Pathfinder, Pathfinder's quantum death side effects. I was amazed to one day step out of the facility, facility to see scores of dead trees around me. Yikes, that's scary. Whoa, what's going on with these, huh? Did you see that? Oh, it's the vines. Okay. I was like, what am I giving life to over here? Alright. In we go. Apparently there's slugs in here that we gotta be careful of. Alright, light us up. Light us up there, boys. Light us up. So that's where we just came from. Anything over here I should care about? Doesn't look like it. So he said something about slugs. So we gotta watch out for slugs. Sluggers. Okay. Uh, I hear that noise. Oh boy. Got him. Got him. Are those slugs? I hope those aren't considered slugs. Get a little bubble back. Alright. Those better not be the slugs. It's the exact same thing as the swarms. I guess they would need to name them something different though. Did I just skip like a whole bunch of stuff by doing this? I hope I did. That would be really funny. Um, uh, where are we now? Half-life feel. Whoa! Snap! We're getting in some heavy stuff, guys. Apparently, this was a science project. Did I just drift? Nice. Would you do it, please? Right. Wasting my shots, man. Wasting my shots. Whoa. Welcome to the Pendulum Research and Development Site. This is creepy. Uh, let's absorb a little bit of this. What do we got here? Um, note from a worker. We better finish up this project soon. Those supply drops are only scheduled to arrive for a few more months. Otherwise, due to the isolation policy, 
We're on our own. The pilots know nothing of this operation other than their orders to drop off supplies to this location until the end of this year. I think they were told this is for a mining operation. No wonder Fisher is going mad over our timelines. Dear Lord. Let's just take all of this. Give me all of it. Probably won't be coming back here anyways. What is this? That's a lamp. Note from a researcher. I finally got to see one of those orbs out in the wild while I was on leave for the day. There was something surreal about them. I stared into it for who knows how long. Controller, would you please stop vibrating? Oh my god, I'm going to lose my mind, guys. Note from Andrew Fisher. Due to the power strain, as the reactor ramps up production to meet our increased quota, we've experienced frequent power outages. As such, I've ordered Amrita generators as a backup power source to be temporarily installed throughout the facility. Blackouts should cease to occur. I had to jump to make the vibration stop, guys. I had to jump. Vibration in, in these games drive me nuts. I don't need to feel the controller vibrate. I know it got hit. Dang it. Gosh, dang it. Oh, dang it, dang it. Dang it, dang it Bobby. Dang it, Bobby. Alright. Here we go. Stop. Nobody knows. Everybody knows. Stopping over here. Because we got to turn back around. Alright. That's good. I, t I can't let it go. I cannot believe that. I was at the end of the level and I got stuck. Alright. Uh oh. Aha. Uh -huh. What happened here? Alright. Note from Private Riley. I've been ordered to patrol the Soma facility again today. I've circled through the same rooms 30 times since noon. At least I get to smile at the cute scientist in the pressure chambers each time. She hasn't smiled back yet. I hope she doesn't find me creepy. Probably does. Note from a Pathfinder. It's odd to think about what exactly a life is once you've experienced quantum death. What exactly are the ingredients that make up my life? My ingredients aren't really any different from anyone else's. Carbon, calcium, hydrogen, etc. Held together with some energy. So what exactly makes me me? I guess, if anything, I'm just a pattern. One that forms out the chaotic blender of matter in the universe. Like a whirlpool of the water. And when I die, that pattern simply dissipates back into the cosmos. Are we all the same? Universe simply expressing itself? I don't know, sir. But it's very deep. And I like where you're going with it. Are we? Do I need to give life back to this? I, apparently not, because it won't let me. So, never mind. Um, go back to that, I guess. Not that that really seems to matter all that much. Uh, stop. Don't turn into a horror game. Don't turn into a... Uh, Triple tap. Got him. Got him. Oh, Lord. Got him. Freaking Amarita swarms, I swear. I swear. Often. It's kind of a problem. Really? How did I miss that? Lord, another note? Note from a psychologist. Several gods on Nightwatch have reported large creature sightings. Some of them are a little shaken up by it. It might just be that being stuck out here in the middle of nowhere for so long is finally getting to them. Either way, we'll need, we'll need full annual psychological assessments for all personnel in the near future. Charlotte Smith. Psychological operations. Good lord, there's another one. Memo. Please report any suspicious activity to any officer immediately. Any hesitation could place the entire operation in jeopardy. Wheel of fortune. All right. Let's see what's going on. Nothing over here. Can't see anything in there. Uh, any boxes to open? No. Another note. Great. Note from a researcher. A large-scale extinction event occurred in North America near the end of the... Pleso period. Interestingly, 
The epicenter of the extinction seems to stem from this valley's location. Could Area 634 have anything to do with it? Oh, Lord. Did we cause the end of the world? Hmm? Did we? Did we cause the end of the world? We'll find out. Next time on Dragon Ball... No, no, I'm just kidding. <gasps> Mina likey. Now that the isolation policy is in effect, I've found out that I've found out this is a weapon project of some sort. I still don't know much, but I hope to find out more. I just wish I could talk to my family back home, let them know I'm doing okay. Uh, they told us we're building some sort of alternative energy facility here, but little else. Tradesmen are only allowed in certain areas, at certain times for certain jobs. They're keeping us completely in the dark. Literally, the lights just went out. <laughs> Having us all focus on a single task at a time, rather than giving us any hints in, into the big picture. What are they hiding from us? You're making a bomb. Oh my god, another one? Oh well, please refrain from wasting office supplies unnecessarily. Stock is running low. Please exhaust all office supplies to their full extent. Yikes. I can't believe that that light just turned off. They're freaking me out, man. What? They don't like this. They don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. Don't you dare become. I can't believe it. I'm almost at a loss for words. This is the discovery of a lifetime. No, no, of the 20th century. Have I found Schrodinger's cat? This is beyond my wildest imagination. What? As the a comic? The reaction between His the cat? energy and the Pathfinder's own life force. They experience what I have dubbed quantum death. When a Pathfinder dies while wearing the suit, their consciousness branches into a new reality, unharmed. They achieve quantum immortality. Why is there a plate sitting here like this? Why is there a pencil floating? Can I restore over here? Oh, the vines. Yeah, of course. Uh. Huh. Sounds like there's Amrita. Oh Lord. Got him. Couldn't even shoot off. Couldn't even do an attack. Got him so good. Back over here, huh? Box. Oh my lord. Note from Charlotte Smith. I ran through the annual psychological assessment for all personnel stationed in Area 634. Many are reaching a breaking point in their isolation from friends and family back home. And the work hours demanded from them is taking a toll on morale. Despite this, most are quite mentally stable. The project lead, Andrew Fisher, does concern me. Uh-oh. Jump so I can get rid of the vibration. Lord. Alright. Hmm. People started losing their minds, huh? Started going crazy, huh? Huh? Alright. Good to know. Like that. The plate is gone. Have you noticed that? Oh no, it's still there. Still there floating. Scaring the daylights out of me. Oh, if you keep jumping through them. Oh man, I got, that gives me an idea. Ew. Someone needs to clean this bathroom. Look at that toilet, dude. Disgusting. You should be ashamed. Wild roses. Valky rise. Oh, this is like a high school area. I wonder if this started out as a school and then turned into this whole thing. Aha! The office board! Look at this! 
The movie is still playing. If I get in the way, does it block it? Already seen this. Already seen this. It's not a good movie. I've already seen it. To produce no story. Yield, we rely upon the life seed housed within a reactor found deep underground oh. beneath the Soma facility. By life seed, huh? High energy yield orbs found within the valley. We pass their energy through the life seed, which acts as a sort of amplifier, magnifying the energy to unprecedented levels. The explosives we create here will dwarf anything the Manhattan Project could ever possibly fathom. <laughs> Mother of God. Alright. Guys, this is getting really creepy. Oh, don't turn into a horror game, please. Please don't be a secret horror game. I'm not, I don't do well with horror games. <laughs> Anyways, that is where we're going to stop for today, guys. Good lord. Um, wow. This is getting really creepy. It's cool. I like it. Um, but either way, oh, I hate when the bushes make noise. We're going to hide right here. That's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you will join me next time when we get really spooked. I am Mr. Bagels. Goodbye.